All right. So a shepherd was attending to his flock one day when out of nowhere he was approached by one of his sheep. Master, the sheep said, what can I do to become a shepherd? The shepherd was pretty surprised and asked, why do you want to become a shepherd? And the sheep said, well, I see you lounging around most of the day and I see the respect the other sheep give you and I thought to myself, this would be the best job in the world. The shepherd then asked, what do you think it takes to become a shepherd? The sheep responded, well, step one, I need to have my own bed to protect me from the hard ground, just like you. So the shepherd gave the sheep a bed, and sure enough, the sheep loved it. Step two, said the sheep, is for me to have my own shaded area to protect me from the hot sun, just like you. And so the shepherd gave him his own shaded area, and sure enough, the sheep loved it. Step three, said the sheep, is for me to have a staff so that when I raise my voice, all the other sheep will listen to me just like you. So the shepherd gave the sheep a staff, and sure enough, when the sheep raised the voice, all the other sheep listened, and the sheep loved it. Then the sheep commented, yeah, I could get used to becoming a shepherd. Just then, the shepherd takes a bucket full of silage and hands it to the sheep. And the sheep, thinking that it's for him, goes to eat it, and the shepherd says, ah, 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 ah feed the other sheep. And the sheep was like, what? Now it was his turn to be surprised and said, what do you mean? And the shepherd said, you asked me what it takes to become a shepherd. And there are two vital things that a shepherd needs to do. The first, feed the sheep. And the sheep said, well, what's the second thing? Just then a wolf comes out of nowhere and scares the flock. No sooner had that sheep caught sight of the wolf that he dropped his staff and ran in the direction of the flock. The shepherd grabbed the staff, scared the wolf away, and then with a big smirk on his face turned and said to himself, protect the flock. And here is the lesson. Any leader of any sort of anything, whether it's over an organization, a family, or just your own individual self, needs to have those two characteristics. The instinct to feed and protect the the flock. Any leader void of those two characteristics is, well, sheepish.